Alright guys, so, uh, the cheat update is live, and that means that we have some things to talk about. Now, um, some people didn't even notice that this happened, uh, it is day one, this was just launched, um, but, basically what we're looking at is two primary, I would say two primary changes, right? One being that, um, every gate now has a level associated with it which means that if you study it x amount even if you don't have a chi rank you will still get bonus attributes from it so you can see here um, i have an inherent chi level um, the bonus is less than that that i get from my ranking so it goes with the higher of the two so if you have a ranking already and the ranking provides more bonus than the level you get that uh, ranking stat bonus instead. And if you have no ranking or a lower ranking and the chi level is higher, it goes with that. So you just kind of, you get the better of the two. Um, and they rolled it out today. And basically, if you have uh, any, any score total that's over 360 points in any of your gates, it starts out with the higher chi level. Um, and it progresses from there. So the lowest is at level R360, where it starts giving you like a decent amount of bonus stats. So as you can see, right, Phoenix, not ranked, but I do have the Chi level from 391. So I do get a decent amount from that still. Right, Tiger, same thing, um, not ranked anymore, but I do get the Chi level bonus. And Turtle as well. Um, so, another thing to note here is, um, based on the chi level, you also have a minimum score that you can roll in each gate. So, at 396, the lowest score that I can roll now is 80. So, everything I roll is going to be 80 or above, right? So, you get way more free chi points as well every day. So, I get 1,000 from Dragon alone. Um, I get 50% cost reduction. So I can, it's, it's you get, obviously that's exactly what it says, instead of being 200 to roll one, it's only 100 chi to roll one. So, nice there, you got study luck, quote unquote. Um, it's hard to put an exact, like, metric definition of what that means, but basically you get refunded chi points, you get um, higher rolls than you normally would, and uh, I'll show you that when you start rolling these. Same thing on this one. All right, 1,000 extra chi points, increases your max total that you can get uh, for free, that you can store 40% chi reduction at 391, right? And it just kind of uh, falls down, um, scales down from there. So it's actually kind of nice to like, show you guys the different tiers that you're at, um, because it's not listed anywhere on the site, of course, because why would they give us <laughs> all the information? Um, but anyway... So right, 389, so I'm assuming it's like 385 tier, gives you 30% reduction, uh, minimum score of 60. So you, it, it scales up pretty quickly once you hit uh, 390 and go to like 396. Um, on my other character with a 398, the minimum score is 85. Um, so it's pretty nice. And then of course down here, um, 385 as well, see, so it seems to be 385, 390 is going to be, or 389 is going to be your, your 30% reduction, minimum score of 60, and then, uh, the corresponding bonuses, so, what I'm going to be rolling today is, I think I'm going to be doing Tiger, uh, when I can try to get a higher HP in here, get a rank, um, I have 82,000 chi points sitting here already. Eventually, I will end up rolling this dragon because I should be able to get a 100 immunity without too much difficulty now that the lowest score I can roll is an 80. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But first, I'm going to go with this because I want to get the uh, immunity and I want to show you guys how this works a little bit. So let's see. I don't want to keep any random stats. I want to make sure max HP is higher than 93. Set these all at 100. Um, so your chi settings now pop up when you hit batch. Um, the setup for retreating is a little bit different as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through these really quick, set these up. And then talk a little bit more about some of these changes. 100. 
hundred. Right, I don't need any of this stuff. I really need need to get that hundred for the last one. Now, I'm not rolling immunity, so it doesn't matter. Now, something to notice here when you're in the retreat page itself. Um, this is your retreated page now, and then this is the one that you're working on currently. Um, so this one will expire for me tomorrow. Um, and to retreat now, you can no longer use 4,000 chi. You have to use a um, frozen chi pill, which these now last for 30 days, which is cool. And then you get a permanent retreat item from this quote-unquote celestial chi pill. Um, I have no idea where you get these, how you would get them. Sounds pretty, pretty cool, honestly, but I don't know how, I don't have the slightest idea how you would get it. Um, it's not in the shopping mall, I checked that already, so no idea how you get that. Uh, but the frozen cheap pills that you have now will work for 30 days, so if you guys have saved up some of those, it's going to go in your favor now. So, that being said, I'm going to start rolling these a little bit so I can show you guys what it looks like when you're getting all of these notifications. See, I'm getting a lot of refunds already. And we're going to let it do its thing. So as you can see, um, every roll, not every roll, but um, a decent amount of them getting like refunds on the chi, saying I'm consuming no chi points, blah, blah. So I started at 82,000. We'll see how long it uh, stays at that point. Oh. See, it popped up right back. I just got another 2,000. Um, there is a part I'll show you guys after I've rolled a little bit. It shows you your cumulative bonuses that you've gotten so far for the day. Um, so the little 2,000 plus here, whatever it is, you can see a little list of the things that you've gotten throughout the day uh, with the rolling of the chi. Something interesting. Um, it says it refunds you know, whatever percentage of the uh, the chi that you've consumed, I'm not sure if it's talking about um, like the today or how that works exactly. But um, basically, you'll notice, right? I'm not rolling anything less than a than a 60 on this tiger because that's the minimum score. So everything is 60 or above, um, and then that those luck points uh, can grant you bonuses on the stats that you roll. So as soon as it pops up, I'll point that out. See right there, the one that I just rolled, I got a two points higher than it would have been. It just randomly gave me two points higher. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, I might just fast forward this a little bit from this point so you guys can kind of see uh, what it looks like. but. As you can see, you get those notifications when it uh, when the luck comes into play and it gives you that plus one, plus two. I think I've seen plus three as well. Um, that's all I have to talk about at this exact moment. I will say, um, anima update as well. I'm not going to get into that on this video. I will make another video about that separately. Um, because that is its own host of issues. Um, but long term, right, so now we have kind of a different strategy when we're approaching G. Now you don't really, um, and I need to confirm this, but it doesn't seem like you need to roll for the right stats right away anymore. Um, and what I mean by that is, right, you see the bonuses that you get from having just a really high base score to begin with. So just getting to 390 something means your minimum rolls are going to be 80 plus and you can get the right sets you want anyway so it kind of seems like you want to just roll and get high scores and then from there you can use that uh, bonus basically to try to roll for the correct stats now obviously if you're rolling chi i feel like you should probably go for the first two stats being correct anyway and if you're being serious you want your first couple of stats to be correct and you want them to be 100s um, but definitely kind of changes this, my approach to chi, I, I will say, because now, 
Like, what's the point of trying to get specific scores if you can just get, you know, up to a high total that allows you to get uh, really good chances of getting the stats that you want more easily. So, um, also, the chi ranks are kind of less relevant now because you can get these bonuses. I would say, I don't want to say relatively easily, but if you had already 360 plus, you're getting some level of bonus now from that instead of nothing. So 360 and above, and the higher it is, the higher the better it is, right? So you can see, well, you can't see this exact moment, but um, I think the dragon for being 396 uh, defaulted at like 1k HP, which is less than the rank on this server, but if you're in a really, really uh, heavily populated server, then you're looking at that being, you know, potentially really beneficial to a lot of people. So, um, it, the the lower level of chi kind of stats is going to go up a little bit, and there's going to be more people at that highest level. I already got somebody today who got 400 in their Phoenix from this new system, so, like, yeah, obviously there's luck involved, but now you're seeing way more options, I think, in, in, uh, in terms of getting high scores, so. I wish that uh, this system had existed, you know, when I was rolling hundreds of thousands of chi points. I do have a bunch of chi that I bought in Storm that I will be bringing over to use on my ninja, and I'll probably record a little bit of that. Um, but this video's already gone like 12 minutes, so I'm gonna stop talking now, and uh, if anything cool happens, I'll screenshot it or whatever. So, see you guys.